I think one of the biggest bias around female choreographers is that when they get pregnant and have babies that, you know, that's it, that's the, the end of their career or they've got to really try and find a particular way of working. And I feel like I've come from a generation of women who defy the odds, you know, really go against what the world says they can and cannot do. And I think when you work in communities and groups and creative processes where we get along and we trust people, we're all tripping in, we're all helping out. Um, and it's one of the things I love about an all-female team, or mostly female team, is there's that nurturing heart to really have compassion for the journey. I think that's really important in creative environments because creativity to me is almost like my child. Being able to watch other women in their journey really lean into their work, their choreographic work, and still be mothers and not feel guilty about that process but actually embrace it and see it as a powerful thing to show their children coming up. I think that that's really inspirational. So a moment where I have had to have courage, I would say stepping into the role of being a choreographer and owning that. I came up in the dance environment, specifically in the hip-hop world and used to performing, used to going at it and even choreographing small numbers and pieces and stuff in that kind of um, industry which I love but bringing that to musical theatre and owning that I think has had to take a great deal of courage. Um, personally I've always loved musical theatre, I grew up on that, never really saw a place for me in that, never saw representation for myself um, be it on stage or off stage, you know, back then it, I didn't even think about the roles you could do backstage, but there was nothing on the screens or anything like that that showed me, hey, you could do this, you could be involved in something like this. And then to come up in the world that I did and choose to take that kind of leap over, um, I think I've had to have a great deal of courage to do that and to believe in the fact that this creative avenue that I bring to the table can serve purpose in that world. One thing I wish I knew earlier in my career is that I deserve to be here, that I'm worthy of the positions that I get offered, that what I hold is valuable. It took me a long time coming up in the choreographic world that what I've got is good enough, that I deserve to be here. I spent a lot of time trying to prove that I was good enough to be in the room, um, good enough to be listened to. And I think that's for various reasons, you know. Part of it is, again, representation and not knowing that there is a place for someone like me because I'm not seeing that. And part of it is just that natural insecurities as you're growing. But I think that if I would have known that a little bit earlier, I probably would have got a lot more gusto <laughs> like I am now. Um, now I kind of, I feel like I don't apologise for what I do, I don't apologise for who I am and I'm not trying to be anything other than the God-given powerhouse that I feel that I am. I think some of the advice I'd give to young women is to get focused on what you want. The quicker you identify what it is that you want, what your desires are, what moves you, what drives you and what your values are, is the quicker you're going to make decisions aligned with those values, with the, the, the desires, with what drives you, and that helps you to make better decisions in life, period. Even if you don't know exactly what you want to do and exactly where you want to get to, knowing, knowing what you want from the deep core inside of you, understanding who you are, not trying to get to an end goal with that, right, because we're always discovering who we are, but just looking at the details of what moves you day to day, year to year, and constantly being willing to be generous with yourself and learn about yourself, that helps us to give ourselves grace and to show up more confidently. And that's what we need, I believe, as women. There are people out there who are doing amazing things and they are less qualified than you are. So it is about you just understanding the greatness that you hold. Your mind is your um, power. 
So however you think is going to alter how you feel and how you feel is going to alter what you do and what you do is going to alter your results and what you get. So if there's anything I can leave you with is strengthen your mind. Know why you think the way you think and continue to not just think positively, but to think abundantly, openly and wide, you know, create that expansion for yourself. And if you don't know how to do that, you can come find me.